Hey guys, what's up? It's AppOSX here, and today I will be giving you an overview of Cydia's latest update to version 1.1.1. What this update brings much increased speed, much less memory usage, and many other features. So let's go ahead and get started with um, the overview of Cydia. So once you launch up Cydia, you will immediately notice how much the speed has actually increased. While it might be harder to tell from this video than your personal device, the speed on this is definitely a lot faster. As you can see, Cydia loaded up really quickly. Now, the first new feature that I'd like to show you is the new search. In search, when you are searching for a package, we'll just search for Make It Mine. We'll just search like that. The results do pop up a little bit differently, as you can see right here. Um, now, this does change if you do, do go into a package. Um, looking at packages does maintain the same appearance as it does before. Nothing much to see there, but when you do go back, it has a loading screen, which is a little bit annoying, and then you do get your results that you're used to. I personally like these results better, but apparently the search results like this um, were intended for speed. As you can see, the results do pop up really quickly using that method. In addition, one key feature that is not very big but a lot of people will appreciate is the ability to run mobile substrate add-ons including Activator, LibStatusBar, and other events while using Cydia. As you can see in my status bar, I do have different icons running, although the theme does not appear to work um, with the carrier and Wi-Fi logos. But if I swipe to the right, I can use SB settings in Cydia, whereas before you cannot do that. So this is personally a really big feature because it allows you to use SB settings, a very, really cool program in Cydia. Yet another new change in Cydia is the all new, brand new installing screen. While your, can, uh, while your queuing screen does maintain the same look, when you hit confirm, your downloading and installing screen will look different. With a brand new loading bar that does look a little bit better, and the, uh, I guess the code and the process of what's going on does look a little bit different, and of course you see that new loading bar down at the bottom. Um, installing packages does seem a little bit faster, but the main speed in the new Cydia is in refreshing packages. Another brand new feature in Cydia 1.1.1 is the brand new resume feature. This is similar to multitasking, except Zurich did note that multitasking is currently not possible for various reasons. However, there is the resume feature. So if we close Cydia and load it back up, you will notice that I'm brought back to exactly where I was, which was the changes location. I'm right back to where I was and I can continue what I was doing. True multitasking, um, Cirque said he is working on it. Um, he said that he even wants it. However, there are some issues with Cydia running as root and Springboard running as mobile user or something like that. So hopefully multitasking will come sooner or later. Cydia 1.1.1 also features a brand new repo management system. This helps prevent Cydia from crashing from broken repos or repos that are undergoing construction. Previously, if a repo did not work, Cydia would basically give you a lot of errors or not even work. So in addition to fixing that up, they, do ha they have redesigned the sources section to um, let you view your sources and all the packages that they have. Not a big feature, but it's definitely nice. Other than those new features that I've uh, shown you guys in this video, Cydia is pretty much the same, including your Cydia homepage right here. Nothing has really changed. You can still do the same things that you did before, but if we look down here, you can see that I am running Cydia 1.1.1. Section still looks mostly the same, nothing much uh, different there. Changes still looks fundamentally the same, except you do have some nice speed improvements, like I said earlier. And then manage stays the same, except for sources. Um, sources have been redesigned and uh, reconstructed to be more efficient. And then search. Um, search, like I said, gets a little uh, funky, but um, when you type something in, it will bring up search results in a smaller view. And then when you hit one and then come back, it will change to the other view. So other so overall, Cydia 1.1.1 is very fast, very efficient. The features, uh, the new features are really nice, and you can download this update right now by launching up your Cydia and hitting the refresh button right there, and you just hit complete upgrade. So go ahead and download Cydia 1.1.1 now. That's it for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe somewhere up there. Follow me on Twitter at AppOSX. Also, add me on Game Center as I only have about
at the time that I, I'm saying this right now, about 10 slots left in my friends list for Game Center. So once I reach 500 friends, I cannot add any more. So if you'd like to be in my friends list, please add me now. My gamer tag is AppOSX. Last but not least, please check out iOSBeta4.com so you can reserve your spot to use the latest iOS 5 beta when that is announced in April, which of course will have um, big brand new features. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.